I think I'm being punished by not releasing videos on a more regular basis. So minutes after releasing my last video, there was an updated blog post on the Bamboo Lab website clarifying the last blog post that got the whole 3D printing community in an uproar. I'll quickly read this, then go into my thoughts. Updates and third-party integration with Bamboo Connect from the Spaghetti Monster. Since announcing our security enhancement for X-Series printers, we've seen a mix of valuable feedback and unfortunate misinformation circulating online. We value constructive input from our community, especially from print farm owners whose businesses rely on our technology. This feedback has been important in shaping our approach to ensure a balance between robust security and operational flexibility. At the same time, we must address false accusations head on. Recently, we have come across numerous social media posts spreading baseless allegations and untrue claims about Bamboo Lab. We want to make it absolutely clear that all these claims are entirely false. And starting with Bamboo Lab will rem remotely disable your printer or brick it. Firmware updates will block your printer's ability to print. AMS functionality will be restricted and the use of third-party filament will be disabled. Bamboo Lab firmware contains Trojans or backdoors for unauthorized remote control. The printers have timed kill switch that disables them after a certain period. All 3D files printed are monitored, duplicated, or stolen. A subscription will be mandatory to use your printer. This article will clarify our stance, outline the facts, and explain how third-party integration will continue seamlessly through Bamboo Connect. Let's set the record straight and provide transparency our community deserves. Acknowledging community feedback, we've received a wide range of feedback following our announcement and we're grateful for insights shared. Many concerns have come from print farm owners who depend on reliable, uninterrupted access to their 3D printers. We understand the stakes for these businesses and your feedback has driven meaningful changes in our approach. In response, we've made the decision to implement an optional land mode feature to provide advanced users with more control and flexibility under the updated land mode. This is what I like to see. All right, so the default mode, uh, well, standard mode default. By default, land mode will include an authorization process that ensures robust security. This option is ideal for majority of users who prioritize security and ease of use. This light claims to the contrary, land mode through Bamboo Connect will require neither internet access nor a user account. This hasn't changed and won't change. Cool. Developer mode, which is optional. For advanced users of X1, P1, A1, and A1 Mini who prefer full control over their network security, an option will be available to leave the MQTT channel, live stream, and FTP open. This feature must be manually enabled on the printer and users who select this option will assume full responsibility for securing their local network environment. Please note, Bamboo Lab will not be able to provide customers support for this mode as communication protocols are not officially supported. The truth about our security update. We've been reflecting on the misinformation circulating about our security update, and while it's disheartening to see these misunderstandings arise, we acknowledge that our communication might have contributed to the confusion. Videos, posts, and comments have claimed that we are restricting third-party tools or forcing users into a closed ecosystem. Let's be clear about what this update actually means and stop the spread of misinformation. This is not about limiting third-party software. We're creating Bamboo Connect specifically to ensure continued third-party integration while enhancing security. We're actively working with developers like Orca Slicer to implement this, implement this integration. This is beta testing, not a force update. The choice is yours. You can participate in the beta program to help us refine these features or continue using your current firmware. About Panda Touch, we reached out to BTT as soon as we became aware of their product. We warned them that using exploited MQTT protocol was unsustainable and would place customers in an awkward situation once we updated the system. All of this communication occurred before the mass shipment of Panda Touch. However, they chose to ignore our warnings. Unfortunately, the truth is now being presented in a misleading manner. The same concerns apply to other products they manufacture that rely on these MQTT protocols. 
Camera fee concerns. Our live view service uses P2P or peer-to-peer -peer, uh, connection, which means video streams directly between your device and printer. Only when a direct P2P connection is impossible does it use server forwarding, and even then no video is ever stored on any server. Third-party software integration with Bamboo Connect. Bamboo Connect currently in development is designed to be a streamlined interface that maintains the convenience users expect while adding necessary security pr uh, protocols. We're actively working with third-party developers to ensure the workflow minimizes disruption to existing use, uh, user processes. Uh, while using third-party slicing software like Orca Slicer, the difference in users' experience is not much. As you can see in the following video, the whole workflow is now almost the same from the user's perspective, and the previous tab in uh, the slicer is replaced by a new application window. So based on this video, it just looks like there's an extra step. But a few button presses, nothing crazy. All right, the integration is seamless, activating only when needed to handle uh, printer communication. Users retain full visibility of their print progress, including real-time monitoring of temperatures, print status, and other critical parameters. This approach maintains the flexibility of third-party software while ensuring all printer commands pass through secure, verified channels. And this goes over the diagram. All right, so print management, a print farm management software. We were fully aware that print farm management software could be affected by this update if not handled properly. That's why we've developed a dedicated tool specifically designed for farm management software. Before this launch, we contacted several farm management software vendors and integration is already in progress. Farm management software developers interested in integration can work directly with Bamboo Lab to implement proper authorization controls. We welcome partnerships with companies developing legitimate accessories and software for Bamboo Lab printers, as demonstrated by our successful collaborations with E3D and Slice Engineering. To provide flexibility, uh, users have three options. Continue using current firmware, update to the new firmware, and integrate with the new tools provided by Bamboo Lab, or update to the new firmware and switch to developer mode for custom solutions. So it looks like there are options. Even for the, uh, the Panda Touch. In my last video, some information has been clarified. The proposed updates aren't to block third-party access, but to shape the traffic going into their servers and printers. The fact that they are actively reaching out to devs is a testament to that. The software is in beta testing and currently optional. I will state the next printer will have it installed though, since that language has not changed. So Bamboo Connect will probably be mature by that point. BTT has been warned about the potential incompatibility with the new firmware and still released their Panda Touch. In their defense, they do have info about which firmware they support, so they understood there could be incompatibility issues at some point. Camera feeds are peer-to-peer -peer or printer-to-device and only uses the cloud to facilitate the handoff. Third parties who want to use Bamboo Connect to stay in compliance can work with Bamboo Lab directly. I can read in between the lines. There's probably a licensing agreement between the devs and Bamboo uh, this won't affect the average user who isn't running a print farm or print farm software. Now, what I'm most surprised about and happy about is the land mode clarification. So there is a land mode standard which works through Bamboo Connect. Uh, it won't require internet access or a user account. I will venture to guess it has access code during setup or some local authentication. Now, there is a new or optional developer mode, which appears to be closer to what we currently have now. This is nearly full access. 
I venture to guess Panda Touch would work here as the MQTT uh, channel, live stream, and FTP modes are available. They're effectively saying your security is on you, but for advanced users, that should be right up their alley. There is no support as it is officially not supported. This is what we're currently dealing with without any updates uh, as it stands if you're using any of the cloud services. So right now, whether you're using a phone, Orca Slicer, an IoT device, a Home Assistant, um, Panda Touch, um, Bamboo Studio, uh, everything will effectively go to your uh, standard router, hit the cloud, well, hit the internet, then hit the cloud, and then bounce back to your printer. Uh, of course, any malicious actors that are attacking Bamboo Cloud um, without any security controls that can theoretically hit your machine, but of course, anything that's within your network could also hit your machine. The proposed updates uh, will uh, look as follows. So right now, the uh, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio looks like they will um, go through the Bamboo Connect before hitting your router and then going to your printer. Uh, so everything in blue would uh, follow this pattern. It looks like anything that is either um, within like HomeKit or any of the IoT effectively would be read-only. So if it's sending out a command that a print job's finished, uh, but it won't be able to, to directly control the printer. Uh, this little guy, if you actually have uh, any issues within your network, so you have a malicious actor on your network, uh, again, you won't be able to directly affect the printer. So you wouldn't be able to send a print job or heat up the printer or send any commands. Uh, when it comes to your cell phone, same thing would apply in the sense that uh, you can directly connect to your router, you connect to the internet, which goes to Bamboo Cloud. Uh, as far as the security on the Bamboo side, I'm assuming that uh, they'll have some sort of controls to filter out anything that isn't, um, I guess, good requests. Uh, so I left a little question mark there. All right, so this appears to be the uh, LAN only default. So when that happens, we effectively disconnect from the internet altogether. So uh, that means you're not talking to the Bamboo Cloud, uh, your cell phone won't connect to the printer, um, anything that's outside of your network uh, obviously won't touch uh, the printer. So the way it would work is your uh, slicer, um, whether it be Orca or Bamboo Studio, looks like it'll go through the Bamboo Connect, but then goes to your router, which then goes to your printers or anything that's within blue would uh, talk. Even if you have a malicious actor on your network, again, uh, won't talk to the printer directly. And it looks like anything that's either IoT uh, or a Home Assistant, again, will probably still get the um, the alerts with the MQTT. So, hey, your printer's finished uh, or any other alerts from that. And LAN only developer is pretty much what we have now. Uh, so the way it works is anything that's on your network could theoretically talk to your printer. Um, obviously, it's not out yet, so we'll just assume that there's open control since it's sending out, um, you know, video feeds. Uh, there's probably access to this, whether you have the uh, Bamboo Connect or not. It looks like there will still be some control. So in this mode, you're on your own. So if you are pretty good with managing your own network, which Again, you know, everyone uh, is comfortable with certain things or not. Uh, you will effectively be on your own. Support will not help you. Uh, not the end of the world if you have a pretty decent network or a modern router that's up to date. Uh, so again, if you use LAN only developer, it's pretty much what we have now with LAN only mode. Uh, but in this case, we're not talking to Bamboo Cloud. Uh, we're not dealing with anything involving the internet. And of course, your cell phone uh, won't directly connect uh, to the system. I don't know about you fine folks, but my questions have been answered. Your device isn't getting bricked. The updates aren't forced. There will be a similar LAN only mode to what we currently have on top of a more secure version. The sky isn't falling. The world isn't ending. With the controversy surrounding this, I tried to wait a few days before saying anything. And even then, I jumped into speculation before confirmation. Sorry, Bamboo Lab. When this update is official, and I use official in the sense of new machines coming with the updated firmware and the software is finalized, most users will not see a major change. Power users still have the option to use their printers as they did before. I am not selling or giving up my printers. I will most likely get a new one when it's released. My blood pressure and stress levels haven't risen and it will be back to printing as usual. Thank you very much, everyone, for sitting through another Ramble video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below.